Have you ever pondered on the question, why does the defense of Palestine hold such a profound place in the heart of Islam? Why is it that this particular land, amongst all others, is emphasized so much in the teachings of our beloved Prophet Muhammad? Well, let's delve into the chronicles of Islamic history and teachings to unravel the significance of Palestine. In the time of Prophet Muhammad, the significance of Palestine was already well recognized. The Prophet himself is reported to have said, as recorded in Sahih Bukhari, there is not a single inch in Al-Quds, Jerusalem, where a prophet has not prayed or an angel has not stood. This statement illuminates the spiritual significance of Palestine, particularly Jerusalem, in Islam. It affirms that this land is not just an ordinary piece of earth, rather it is a land sanctified by the prayers of prophets and the presence of angels. Following the Prophet's era, the first Qibla of Islam, Al-Aqsa Mosque, was established in Jerusalem. This was where Muslims turned their faces in prayer before the Kaaba in Mecca was appointed as the Qibla. This further solidifies the spiritual connection between Muslims and Palestine. Moreover, the miraculous journey of Isra and Miraj, one of the most significant events in Islamic history, began from Al-Aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem. This journey further accentuates the spiritual and religious importance of Palestine in Islam, as it was from here that Prophet Muhammad ascended to the heavens and led all the other prophets in prayer. So, what does all this historical and religious context imply for Muslims today? It elucidates the fact that defending Palestine is not just about preserving a piece of land. It's about preserving the sanctity, the history, and the spiritual significance that this land holds in Islam. In summary, the defense of Palestine is of utmost importance in Islam due to three main reasons. Firstly, the land of Palestine, particularly Jerusalem, holds a profound spiritual significance as it has been sanctified by the prayers of prophets and the presence of angels. Secondly, it is home to the first Qibla of Islam, Al-Aqsa Mosque, which establishes a deep-rooted spiritual connection between Muslims and Palestine. Lastly, it's the starting point of the miraculous journey of Isra and Miraj, which further highlights its religious importance. Therefore, it becomes incumbent upon all Muslims to defend and preserve the sanctity of this land. It's not just about a geographical location. It's about our religious heritage, our spiritual connection, and our duty as Muslims. Defending Palestine is defending a part of our faith.